They make it harder and harder, don't they? Yeah. The rascals. <laughs> Get the job, marry, have children, have some property investments, especially in Albert Park. <laughs> But make the center of your life Krishna. That's all that Prahlad is asking. Realize how short your life is and how little time you actually have. All right? As they say in Australia, fair enough. <laughs> Any questions? <clears throat> Bringing the microphone. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Yeah. Uh, thank you for your speech at uh, Jesus Prabhu. I do want to ask a question which doesn't align with my values, but I just want to ask your opinion on it. Given that uh, previously there were two genders, now there are multiple genders out there and uh, the preference, partner preferences are changing. What would you, how would you uh, advise everybody on this topic? Why is it important for you? <laughs> you are wanting to diversify your portfolio? <laughs> You're right. You are, we need to be acceptable of their people's yes. opinions and mm. their preferences. Yes. And uh, especially in a workplace where you get to, you will be imposed upon or maybe even though you don't accept some of those things, I wish to, okay, I wish to stay neutral, even though I don't. Here's I, the best way to stay neutral. You're not the body. Whether you classify yourself as this gender, that gender, multiple genders, still, what Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita is the fact you are different from your body. You may change the labels on the clothes you're wearing, but you're not the clothes. Similarly, you're not your ethnicity, you're not a product of the land of your birth. You're not this gender, that gender. All those are externalities. You are spirit soul, part of Krishna, the Supreme Soul. Every other identification is false. You would not go around telling people that you are the shirt you're wearing, right? People would think you're crazy. I guess what? I've just discovered that I'm this shirt that I'm wearing. What do you think? Do you like it? <laughs> People would think you're nuts. But society is so bewildered and so mad that people do think they are their body, whatever body type they have. So you need the knowledge that Lord Krishna gives in Bhagavad Gita which will light your path in front of you. And then you'll be not bewildered by all these external crazy notions that go on in the world. Okay? okay? Yeah, and one more to add to that is, uh, what do you say about the partner preferences, gender preferences? What, what's that? Partner gender preferences. What is your, uh, what's your opinion on, on those? Again, guess what? You're not the body. <laughs> Chapter 2 of Bhagavad Gita. So that means it's okay for somebody to have uh, uh, 
same genders kind of thing, or is it still okay with that? We want everyone to chant Hare Krishna, and then all this confusion will reduce. Okay? <laughs> there has to be a spiritual solution. Hare Krishna Maharaji. I wanted to ask, um, uh, often we uh, emphasize the relationship between body and the soul, but here I'm more concerned about my mind, which is the main culprit driving my soul's, uh, soul to uh, materialistic accomplishments or the my desires. So what happens to the mind when the soul leaves the body? Does it follow the same soul? It's something, it's a different... Death means you leave the gross physical body behind, but you go to your next body in your subtle body, mind, intelligence, and false ego. So the soul goes with that equipment to the next body. So it's the same combination. Mm -hmm. It's the same combination which carries forward. Your gross physical body stays behind. It's burned or it's buried in the ground, eaten by dogs. But your spirit soul goes to your next body within the spirit soul travels within what's called the subtle body made of mind, intelligence, and false ego. That's still a material body. So when you chant Hare Krishna, you're purifying your subtle body. You're purifying your mind, intelligence, and false ego. And gradually, real ego develops. You know what real ego is? I am Krishna's servant. I am part of Krishna. I'm meant to engage in Krishna's service. Okay? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.